We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of the Muscleman Appleman, Brian Thomas. Coach Thomas, your team with a 6 nothing victory on Saturday over Hedgesville. Just give us a recap of that wild and very sloppy game. Yeah, um, yeah, you know, it was a, it was a hard-fought battle. Uh, you know, that's what you kind of expect out of, out of two rivals playing each other. Um, you know, you, you, you kind of come to expect that, that you're going to get everybody's – best shot in that game so it was you know it was a it was a it was a good game hard fought by both teams um you know I thought our kids I thought our kids battled and played tough and I thought their kids battled and played tough so um yeah just you know excited to get the victory excited to come up come out on top coach you guys end up winning on the final play of the game with a snap going over uh Hedgesville's quarterback Dalton Harper's head there's been some controversy about that play. I guess just uh, what is your or what was your perspective on it when you saw it live? And um, first of all, I guess just acknowledge, I guess the controversy and any thoughts on that. I don't know what you're talking about with controversy. I, I'm, you're, you you stumped me there. What do you mean? The journal uh, has a quote from Coach Faircloth. He says that um, Shelton kicked the ball. And it shouldn't have came. Uh, well, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Um, yeah, I, I can maybe see how somebody would would think that. Um, yeah. No, it was a uh, snap one over the head. Yeah. There's no controversy. I mean, it's 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 yeah. There is no controversy on the play. Um, you know, it, it was it was a uh, it was a clean scoop and score. Uh, you know, actually, actually, when the snap was over his head and Colton was going to get it, um, their quarterback kind of made contact with him, or I don't think. I don't think it would have hit his. It came up and kind of hit like his upper knee. Um, you can see it on film. We got the end zone view, so we got a really good shot of it. Um, but it kind of came up and hit his knee, just the way it bounced off the turf. And like I said, his kid, the, you know, the, the the quarterback, their kid, kind of hit him. Um, and then when it, you know, kind of hit his knee and kind of took a took a bounce our way, uh, which you know I feel like we haven't got many bounces our way this year. So, you know, um, that kind of sprung the ball a little bit forward just because the contact made it with his knee and he scooped it and scored it and you know hey it was uh it was pretty wild it was pretty crazy we we were kind of prepping for overtime so it was it was uh it was pretty crazy what were some other takeaways that you had in that game on both sides of the ball what you like what you didn't like well i mean our defense played great i mean you know our our defense did awesome you know our whole our defensive staff did a really good job preparing the kids last week and getting them ready um you know and they were just kind of flying around having fun i think we forced four turnovers so you know anytime you do that that's a that's an exciting thing that's probably that was probably the best thing in the game um you know too many penalties uh you know just too too many too many unforced error penalties sometimes i can take aggressive penalties you know it's, you know if you're being aggressive and you're doing something we we, we had some things where um, just you know, some bonehead plays that we just, we just can't make those. Um, so we got we got a, you know, we're, we're lucky they didn't cost us. We we had a couple drives where we were right down their territory about the, you know, I, th- I thought about the punch it in. Then next thing you know, you look back and oh hey, you know, thirty forty yard play negated by a penalty. So you know, we got a we got a shore up some of that stuff. Didn't really like that, but uh, you know, at the same time, you know, you, when you can get through that and figure out a way to win, that's pretty exciting. Coach Jefferson this week, a team that has always uh, got a lot of good athletes, and that is, again, the case this year. What kind of stands out to you about this Jefferson team? Yeah, they're good, man. I got to go with us playing on Saturday. I got to go watch them the other night um, as they played uh, Millbrook. I got to see them live, and they're good, man. They're, um, you know, the biggest thing that stood out to me is, is the athletes. You know, as you mentioned, everybody talks about the athletes, but they're really good up front, too. Uh, you know, they're they're physical up front. They get after it up front. So, you know, they, they do have athletes all over the place, but at the same time, you know, it's not just about those kids. It's about the big boys, too, that get the things done up front. So uh, I think they're a complete, well-rounded team. Um, I don't think they have many holes, man. They got good quarterback play, uh, good running – the two good running backs, uh, just receivers, uh, receiver depth, just crazy. And then, you know, you factor in, you know, they got they got good linebackers. They got a good front. Uh, they're, they're, they're dangerous, man, really good football team. How do you approach the game then to make sure that your team comes out on the winning side for a second straight year? I think we, you know, you got to play, you got to play smart. Um, you know, you're playing a good team, a good team like this, you know, you gotta, 
you, you can't make mistakes and you know you it sounds cliche but it's true you give you give somebody extra possessions whether it be a turnover or a three and out um you know if you can't if you can't put points on the board we didn't put points up on the board last week you know we got we got to put points on the board um you know and punch some of those drives in and you know help our defense out by keeping our defense off the field uh but at the same time you know putting points on the board so you know we we got to can't make mistakes. Got to limit their explosive plays because you know they're they're really explosive with all the speed that they have. So um, just got you got to play really smart football. Coach, you uh, you talked about how last week you were able to have some drives. Uh, unfortunately, had some penalties and stuff that slowed down your offense. Mm-hmm. Um, do you feel like it was though in some ways a step in the right direction, especially this week? Uh, Jefferson's a team that's going to probably put up, you know, some points. So you're going to need to have a breakthrough offensive game. Yeah, um, you know, I thought that was going to happen last week, and it didn't, unfortunately. Uh, but you know, we're we're there. There's certain things, there's small victories, and certain things that I think we're taking away. Uh, with what we're doing, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to trying to come out and establish some things and get going a little bit. You know, I know we, we only got three games left, but we're still trying to continue to improve um, in the things that we're doing. So, you know, it's it's you know you you can never you can never stop getting better. You want to be peaking at the end of the year. Uh, so, you know, I've, I've coached long enough to I mean, I've, I've seen teams that are rolling into the playoffs, and you know, I've had some years where we haven't been playing well going into the playoffs and then I've coached some years where we have been playing well going to the playoffs so you know right right now we just got to try to peak at the right time um and you know hopefully hopefully we can do that this is you know you want to you want to play your best football uh here late in October so you know th- that's what we're trying to do and coach our uh, fun question this week is what kind of yeah. music do you listen to Oh man! So you guys asked me. There's like all these questions are so loaded because like the food thing. Like I pick so many different things. Like music, man. It it just depends what kind of mood I'm in. Honestly, like um, you know, I, I like the old country. Like you know, I listen to, to some George Strait. Uh, but then I like the new country stuff too. Um, so you know, I listen. I listen to some of that. Uh, I, I, I'm a big '80s rock guy. I, I like me a little um, ACDC. Uh, but you know, some, sometimes I listen to my Christian music and that always uplifts me and puts me in a good mood. Oh man, there's just so many, so many options. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a Christmas music guy too. So you can't, you know, I, I, I like, I like that, but it's not time for that yet. We got to wait till late November and December for that. But, uh, I'd say my go-to is probably ACDC. Is there anything you listen to before a game? Um, Oh man, usually, usually, oh man, uh, some like old Kanye West. I like, I like Kanye West. Yeah, that's what we listen to that at practice a lot. So I'm a, not, not the new stuff. He kind of went crazy there when he got with the Kardashian girl, but, uh, you know, the old Kanye stuff. I, I like it. That usually, that usually always kind of gets me going a little bit. I think we heard, uh, Homecoming by Kanye West when we were at practice. When I remember probably yeah, yeah. probably yeah. that's that's we we do we have different days of the week we play different music so usually Wednesdays Kanye West Wednesday all right appreciate the time coach as always and good luck yeah thanks guys appreciate you